Jack, you really are overreacting. There's nothing going on between Caleb and me. I know what I heard. Jack, do you really think that with all I've got going on in my life that I want to run Cortland Electronics with a, a rude and, and stubborn hermit? Of course I don't. But this hermit just might go and sell Cortland Electronics to the Chandlers. I can't let that happen. I have an obligation to protect Palmer's legacy. I love you. And we're going to be married. And this time... I want it to last, but we don't have a chance in hell unless you're honest with me, unless you're honest with yourself about Caleb. Now, something happened between the two of you up in that mountain. Something is still happening between the two of you, and damn it, I deserve the truth. I don't know what's happening between Caleb and me. Well, let's see. What can I tell you about the Chandler men? Well, they go after what they want. They don't stop until they get it. Money, power, women. My daughter Marissa made the mistake of marrying JR and scares me to death. Did he hurt your daughter? <laughs> JR has some good in him, okay? And he tries to love Marissa, but he is his daddy's son. Good old Adam. You know Adam Chandler? What's going on? I've been hearing things about Adam Chandler. Well, I'm not surprised. So why are you even meeting with, with Scott and, and JR? Why are you even considering their offer for Palmer's company? Who says I am? Okay, so you're telling me you're not gonna sell Cortland Electronics? I can't wait to get back to my home, have some peace and quiet. <laughs> Peace and quiet, except for when a plane carrying Erica Kane crashes through your living room. Yeah. Caleb, I've seen you and Erica together. I've seen the sparks. Oh, please. People think the prison is bad. They ought to try being on a mountaintop with the mouse that roared. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I shared a tent with that mouse. Tent? In Africa, it's, it's, it's a long story. I, let me just put it this way. She's tough. In my life, I have never, ever heard anybody talk so much. I mean, she talks about herself like she is the queen of England. <laughs> I, don't get me started. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the burger. Conversation. Appreciate it. I thought I was gonna die in that plane crash. But when I woke up, I I was trapped in the wreckage. And Caleb appeared. And he carried me out of there. He saved my life on more than one occasion. He was very rude. I did not understand his behavior. I don't understand him now. But I owed him my life. I was dependent on him to survive. And the time we spent together up on that mountain was, it was very intense. Go ahead. What I mean is that, Jack, I was alone and I was trapped and I was scared. I was missing home. When you found me, I was so happy. I was so happy to be going home with you and, and to our life. And then Caleb shows up in town. He's 
Palmer's nephew. That man is a Cortland. I mean, what are the chances? It's an amazing coincidence, that's for sure. Oh, it's bizarre. And what's even more bizarre is that Palmer has paired us to, to run Cortland Electronics. And ever since we found out, Caleb has been pushing my buttons. You've had your buttons pushed by the best. Why do you let him get to you? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's post-traumatic syndrome. I'm trying to figure that out. But God knows I don't want him here. I want him to go back where he came from so I can get on with him. I may have spent time with him up on that mountain. But every moment I was thinking of you, I was missing you, I was loving you, and I still love you. Oh, my you, Jim. How would you like to get married on a yacht? Sarah vows, sail off into the sunset. Just the two of us. You said the word, I'll make it happen. Jack, it sounds wonderful. But running away is not the answer. I have got to face this thing with Caleb head on. I have to sever all ties with him. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to end it now. For myself. And for us. Caleb. Would you leave me alone? I am not in the mood for games. I am not playing games, believe me. Palmer put me in charge of his company, which means it's my responsibility to try to figure out what the hell is wrong with you. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me is none of your damn business, let alone your responsibility. What happened to you, Caleb? Why was it so hard for you to be in the Chandler house today? Why did you snap? It's about to happen again. I know you've been hurt. I can see that in your eyes. It's that woman, right? The woman whose locket I found? That story you told me about losing everything, about losing her, was that true? You can trust me, Caleb. Please tell me what's troubling you. Why was being in that Chandler house today, why, why did that have such an effect on you? Junior made me a lousy offer, that's all, okay? It's much more than that, and you know it. Why don't you drop it and just walk away from this? Just walk away. No, I don't do that. And I can't escape it. I can't escape you. And I'm trying to figure that out. This keeps on happening. We keep colliding. We have absolutely nothing in common. We detest being around each other. We both just want to get back to our lives. And yet, something happened on that stupid mountain. You cannot keep running away, Caleb. 